November 20th, 2009. Malta is often described as a gateway to Europe. It is indeed a major hub for tuna farming. And today's mission entails a visit to a tuna fish farm. The first farm of this kind appeared here in the year 2000, producing 300 tonnes per annum. Malta now produces over 8,500 tonnes every year, mostly for the Asian market. Along 90 miles of coastline, six farms employ over 1,400 people. This method of fish farming, invented by the Norwegians, consists of capturing wild tuna and transporting them to cages, where they are fed until they reach commercial size. One cage, 50 meters in diameter, holds about a thousand fish, each eventually measuring up to three meters long and weighing as much as half a ton. The tuna are force-fed for up to two years, depending on their initial size, before being sold on the Japanese market. Sixty fish farms like this currently exist in the Mediterranean Sea, and to maintain them all, 40,000 tons of juvenile tuna are captured every year. None of these fish will reproduce in captivity. Forty-five tons of fish are needed each day to feed the tuna on a farm with six cages. Their diet includes mackerel, sardines and calamari, often shipped from many thousands of miles away. 225,000 tons of fish are used in this way every year, often caught by methods which endanger the survival of dolphins and other predators. It takes about 15 to 20 kilos of fish food in order to obtain one kilo of tuna flesh. These resources all play an essential part in the ocean's food chain. And this is just one of the ways we are exhausting our ocean resources. Thank you. 